starting this video out we are in the tunnel we're actually like a good amount of feet underwater right now underwater tunnel um we're headed to the exhaust shop finally got a shop to get me in to get this dang resonator deleted um i don't think it's going to do a whole lot i mean it will give me some noise I, i've seen some other videos of some other s3s that have the resonator deleted already and it sounds okay like it's not loud by any means but it will give me a little bit of audio for my ear we have autocross this weekend so i want you know some sound who, who wouldn't plus uh, i mean on the highway i don't think we're gonna hear it at all with the valves closed and everything it should be dead silent and when we go into sport and it opens up the valves maybe it'll give us a little bit of sound and you know these like the golf r the mark 8 and then this i don't know about the a3 or gti i think the gti does so but i don't know about the a3 there is like pops in sport like some already stock pops i'm not one for pops uh, like just letting off the throttle pops but like um good downshift pops i like those those are my favorite downship pop that's like the only time i really like pops so um hopefully we get some of that and uh we'll just see when we get there i'll uh have dude just rev it up real quick get a clip of that and then we'll see how it sounds afterwards and on the highway um speaking of that we'll just slow down a little bit right now i'm in auto mode so we have comfort auto and dynamic dynamic is like sport auto and like automatically changes the suspension depending on like if i'm on a wavy road like i am kind of right now it'll soften it up and then like if you're going like deep kind of fast into a turn it, you can feel the car kind of stiffens up on its own but i want you guys to hear so we'll do some downshifts fifth gear 4000 rpm most of what you hear right now is coming through the speakers, so, or, well, there's not really anything coming through the speakers, so right now we'll go to dynamic, sport, and, and that sound you hear is kind of coming through the speakers. There's not really anything coming from the back of the car, but every so often you can get it to pop. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's like very silent. it's actually cheaper than buying Audi has a resonator delete that you can buy um, but it's like four hundred dollars and I, I feel like this would be cheaper this guy's got some metal he's gonna bend it I'm not even gonna weld it it's already clamped on one side I'll just use a clamp for the other end of it and it'll make it easy for dropping my cab back when we go to the Brookline stuff here in a couple weeks um, yeah the Golf R by the way doesn't come with a resonator so when they're free revving it in whatever mode with the valves open should be roughly what it sounds like. I'm sure they have a different uh, muffler, but anyway, just right at this point, we'll see what she sounds like. All right, you can go ahead. All right, that's good, thank you. That was with the valves open. So I guess a little bit more sound than what I thought um, right out the back, but it should sound quite a bit better after this. car looks so good. I've never seen anybody really drive it. Nice. This is where I got my tent done too. All right, so already done. Only took him half hour. And he charged me 124 and the Audi OEM like kit just for the pipe itself. And you need like pipe cutters. It's like, it was like 380 something. So that's a way better deal coming here it only took half an hour so i got a little bit of time to burn i am in the process of getting rid of i have a uh, msi laptop with like a 1050 ti in it logitech g710 keyboard the wireless light speed mouse that wirelessly charges off the mouse pad an msi uh monitor all this stuff but i freaking hate using adobe i, I got a steel on the side i had a um, macbook air like a 20 
probably 16 before this and it was great till it updated and it was trash and I started doing higher quality videos. I used to be doing stuff on my iPhone, I think seven and in my old GoPro and now using higher quality stuff like this, um, that, that laptop couldn't handle it. So I wound up selling that and pretty much breaking even to buy the MSI itself. Anyway, getting rid of all that, the new 2021 14 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 Max is what I'm aiming for. So I think I'm about to go to the mall and grab that. And then I gotta go pick up some yard work stuff. So we'll get some zoom around here, see how the car sounds. This shop did it fairly quickly. Right there we are, Superior Automotive. I believe we're in Chesapeake, Virginia. I don't know, we're in Virginia somewhere. <laughs> but uh, let's see how she sounds. All right, here we go from a stop sign. I can tell just there's like a tad more sound. This lady go. I think they all have stop signs here. I hear a little more sound. It doesn't pop like I thought it would though. A little bit louder. Try it on the highway. see them in concert one day um, damn okay so with this resonator delete I only hear like more loudness in the upper rpm let's say like 5,000 and above maybe like 10 to 15 percent louder no drone at all because it's like it's quiet like there's no I don't notice a difference at all just even in sport mode just regular driving I don't think I notice anything until maybe like three, maybe like where, where the cams change over, like 3,000, whatever, 100 RPM. Use the right two lanes to take um, exit 290. But the pops are louder. Right and the clip before this, right when I heard a little pops, it, it wasn't much. I had to get it, the exhaust warmed up some. And the pops are significantly louder than what they were, but they're still not loud, which is great because I don't want to sound like a child on the highway. Keep as much right. as I like some kind of pops, it's not. Uh, it's not like anything crazy by any means. All right, just picked up my lawn equipment. Now, I never really ride with the windows down because, you know, it's usually been cold. So, I can really actually hear the intake and inlet. Like, that's like really nice. I know you guys probably saw the video with the GoPro on the front. If you haven't, go watch it. I'll put it at the end of this video. But uh, this thing's sounding pretty good now. Come on, guy, it's a round bound. Let's go. Let's go. I'm falling more and more in love with this car. What kind of road is this here? It's hard to hear the pops. Of course, every time I get on it, it doesn't want to do it. I'll try and get a good clip for you guys. The car doesn't want to <laughs> cooperate. Alexandria, how y'all like them? I'd love to see them live. All right, here comes my part. Hopefully I don't get them on for this. I'm talking over it, right? All right, that's enough of that. Oh, there's a part. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> Man, well, the road on the way home, I mean, this is nothing but traffic. It took way too long to get to even where I'm at now. I'm exhausted, but I did grab my new MacBook, so that's nice. And some yard work stuff. Could do yard work this weekend. I'm not too happy about that, but it is what it is. Um, I'm going to try and get another pull in. We're going to exhaust up on this road real quick. Try and get you guys a few pops and maybe some more exhaust noise. The crosswind's been pretty crazy coming through the window. So with the windows down, it's been pretty awful trying to get audio. I, I think at least, obviously I haven't heard it yet, but we'll see. Let's go for one here. You can hear it a little bit. Let's see if we can 
get some pops. Nope, I will not downshift. It won't even let me downshift. Basically a third of the cost of what Audi charges, you get a little bit louder of pops on like diesel and a little bit more volume and higher RPMs. Is it worth 120? Maybe. Is it worth 380 from Audi? Absolutely not. Um, maybe if we cut out the OPFs and make a little bit, I think it would make a lot of it because it comes off the downpipe, splits into two OPF things and then goes back to the rest of the pipe, which I think is pretty stupid. I'd like to cut those out, but like I said, I'm just gonna wait for the track slag and hopefully it just gets rid of those. So it'll give us a lot of sound. It gets rid of the cat and the OPS and gets out of that little stupid Y section. So that's all I got. Hopefully you guys can notice some new, better quality um, on the cameras. I'm gonna start recording. Well, I do record in higher quality, but I don't um, export in higher quality because there's always really no point. So. Maybe now you guys can notice. I don't know. Sorry for the lackluster video, but I did want to record this day, and it is what it is. I'm hoping by Saturday the steering wheel shows up, and then Sunday we got autocross. So be on the lookout for those videos. And uh, got any questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below. Hit that like button for me, and I'll catch you on the flip flop. Cold start is definitely louder. This is the next morning. I know I ended the video already, but uh, cold start is actually louder. You guys can see her message. She's like, I can actually hear your car from the room, which is interesting. So there's that. And I need to get a sound clip from the back of the car. I realized I didn't do that. So when I get home from work today, I'll have her get in, rev the car, give you guys some more sound. But uh, I am in dynamic mode, so it would the valves are open right now I didn't make a difference I just put it in comfort so cold start stuff went louder I'm for it all right now we can actually end the video got her out of here she's gonna route the car for us real quick all right babe go for it this is in comfort keep going okay okay that's fine go to dynamic now We'll see the valves open. Boom, valves open. Go for it. Do it again. Nice. Not bad. So, I mean, for a hundred some bucks, not terrible. I'll take it. Thank you. She's a Vikings fan. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.